Okay, so this little thing I want to show you are, are the basic, you know, it's still the pentatonic, we're still in E, but there's some just good double stops and that kind of raunchy, growly, power trio kind of uh, style of lead guitar playing where you're, you're uh, you know, you don't have any other chordal instruments there, so you're playing some things that still give a chord vibe, but you're soloing. So here's uh, just a little guideline, you know, and just kind of think of it as like a double stop, kind of little scale kind of thing. And, you know, you got the pentatonic, right? Turn down a little bit. So you've got that 15 on the high E. Well, we can add, you know, basically the notes from what you could call Dorian, but don't worry about the fancy name. We're just using the pentatonic as our skeleton, and then we're going to add a few things. So we've got... 15, 14, 12 on the high E. And you can do that anytime, really. In the rock soloing vibe. Then you'd have 15, 14, 12 on the B. Right? Uh, that That's just going to work, and there's lots of cool stuff in there, but what we're going to do is we're going to play them both at the same time. So I'm playing the B and the high E on the 15. 14, the 12. Okay, then we're going to do the 14 to the 12 on the B and G string. And the same thing, but the D and G. And then the same thing on the A and D. And when you're right there, that's actually like the root power chord. A and D on the 14th fret. And then the other thing which, which we did in the rhythm portion of this are for instance, double stopping on the 12th fret of the A and the D. And only hammering the 14th fret on the A. So you're still getting this little double stop. Same thing here. And then another one is covering the 12th fret of the B and the high E and hammering on that whole step instead of that uh, 15th fret. We're hammering on the 14th fret of the B string while we're covering the B and the high E on the 12th fret. <laughs> Another thing is actually when you're covering the 15th fret of the B and the high E, those are the two strong notes from that Hendrix chord. 
listen to how they're the same when I play this E Hendrix chord with the root on the E string, so 12th fret. <laughs> It's the same chord, so that's another thing to get in there. 